Now, let me ask you this with your book. Do you happen to have um, a copy of that available? And if you can, walk through, obviously you've got it up there, the title, but walk through some of the themes that you cover in your book. Okay, so it's tricking over canvases. Um, you know, that's just a, a, a play on really how I got into it. You know, I kind of fell into, um, you know, the arts. Uh, this is my second book. So it's part of a, a series. Uh, my first one was Tripping Over Canvases, How to Open Your Own Art Gallery with No Prior Experience. Because that's Ooh. exactly what I did. So as soon as I figured out how to do it, you know, I wanted to, to share how to do it, uh, particularly because of, the, the problem and what I tried to fulfill the need by opening my gallery to do, I want other people to be able to do. There was no places for people that look like me um, to be able to exhibit and sell, you know, the art and grow in, in, in artistry and skills and, you know, really commune with other people that look like them, you know, um, you know, in the art world. We don't have a lot of our own spaces. You know, we, we do a lot of renting from other people that don't look like us, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they charging us exorbitant fees. You know, I, I remember in when I was doing uh, nightclub management on, on nights that I have, they would raise the price of the alcohol because of the crowd that was coming when I was just there another night and, you know, it was a different crowd and the same alcohol, it didn't get better, you know, <laughs> they were charging us more. <laughs> so I wanted to be in control of that. So, uh, you know, me and my partner went and opened our own space, you know, our own gallery. And, you know, just a little into the story, we didn't initially seek to do a gallery um like like i said we come from music so we were looking to open up uh, another recording studio and event space so we can start doing you know our own events and start and stop whenever we want and have control over that um but we ran into a gallery uh, i mean not a gallery an artist friend of ours um while we were doing something in music with the video we needed uh we wanted him to do some uh authentic apparel so he did some artwork on some sneakers that I had and he said he wanted to open a gallery. So I, I had the bright idea, let's all do it together. Um, and then as I made deals, he decided he wanted to do his own thing. But by then I had already told everybody what I was about to do. So I would look crazy if I back out, you know, once I say I'm done, <laughs> I'm done. So, you know, like, oh, I got to figure this out. You know, I know zero about art. Um, couldn't draw for anything, didn't know any artists really, um, you know, visual artists. I know all these music people, you know, had connections and that, but, uh, so I had to scramble, you know, um, visited a bunch of different galleries. I think we did 15 galleries, uh, in a month while we were renovating our spot to open. Um, even went down to North Carolina to see a grand opening of a, a black art gallery of a successful independent artist. Like I wanted to, you know see what was going on so I could get an idea of what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Even though our model and um, our structure is, is completely us, um, you know, I just wanted to get an idea of what was going on. So I went to a lot of different places. Um, and then I wanted to be able to teach what I've learned. Um, I was blessed to be able to come across a bunch of mentors um, early, you know, right as I decided that this was what I was going to do, like everything really aligned, like it was supposed to happen. Even opening a gallery space, like we had problems, um, you know, with getting like different licenses and, you know, being able to, to get into it. And then everything kind of just, just kept melting away. Um, mm -hmm. Even though people tried to oppose it, like it just, doors just kept on opening and we just kept making connections and things just happened. And I'm like, yeah, this is supposed to happen. So, you know, we just went with it. So I wanted to try to, you know, reach back and help anybody else that, you know, might have the same type of mission or, or anything as far as being able to provide for the artists. And, you know, what I do now is consulting artists' careers, um, you know, to show them how to make money using their talents and skills. So the book is called Tripping Over Canvases, How to Become a Successful Art Entrepreneur. So that's your arts entrepreneurs. Um, so the themes that you, you asked in there, um, the overall theme is you as an artist are a business. Um, mm -hmm. You can manufacture a product whenever you like, you know, you're, you're the product. So you are a business and you should treat yourself as such. You should have your, yourself, you know, registered as a business. 
You should be building business credit, um, you know, business networking, um, really taking advantage of things, even like like grants that you can receive if, if you're set up properly, um, going into the business space and just the way you can approach other businesses to partner with things. And sometimes you can't even get paid, you know, they, their structure is set up so that they can only pay a business. So if you're not properly set up, you can't even do business with some people. So, so this, um, you know, teaches how, you, how to do all of that. Make sure to catch the full broadcast on All About the Authors 520 on Facebook and All About the Authors 520 on YouTube. Don't forget to support these and other great authors and make sure to check out the hosts, All About the Authors. We'll see you soon.